जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारी जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारी यशोदानंदन व्रजन रंजन यशोदानंदन व्रजन रंजन जमुना तीर बन चारी जमुना तीर बन चारी जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारी गोपी जन बल्लव गिरी बरधारी गोपी जन बल्लभ गिरी बरधारी यशोदानंदन व्रजन रंजन यशोदानंदन व्रजन रंजन जमुन तीर बन चारी तीर बन चारी जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारी जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारी जय हम स्वाप परमंस परिव्राज राचार्य सिद्ध श्री स्मारति धाम विसर श्री गोस्वामी भगवान की जय अंतपुरी वैष्णवी की जय रामाचार्य श्री हरिदास ठाकुर की जय प्रेम से कहो श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निष्ठानंद श्री अद्वैत राधा शिवाचार्य गौरी जय श्री श्री राधा कृष्ण भोग भगना शाम खंड राधा खंड गिरी भोजन की जय वृंदावन धाम की जय नवदीप धाम की जय गंगा माई की जय जमुना माई की जय गुरु द्वारका धाम की जय स्वामी तो भक्तविंद की जय और गौरी श्री जैसे मिले और गौरी श्री जैसे मिले थैंक यू वेरी मच टुडे वी हैव स्पेशल लेक्चर बाय श्रीला प्रभुपाल The following is a class given by His Divine Grace A.C. Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on December 23, 1968, in Los Angeles. Sri Guru Vishnu Mahasya. Yes, this is very important. Uh, योगा इंद्रिय संज्ञा योगा द डेफिनेशन ऑफ योगा मींस सेंस कंट्रोल कंट्रोलिंग द सेंस सो हियर कृष्णा सेज दैट यू कैन नॉट कंट्रोल योर सेंसेस आर्टिफिशियल इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल 
Uh, those who are trying, just like uh, some of the yogis, they close their eyes, or oh, I will not see beautiful woman. That is another practice. But that does not mean that he can control his senses, no. He cannot cut down the natural force of sense. Uh, this is a secret. People do not know. And if you let the senses go on in its own way, that is also dangerous. Then you are going to hell. Adanta govi bhishatam tamishram. If your senses are not controlled, then your senses will drag you to the darkest region of hell. That is another problem. Generally, in the material world, uh, Adanta, Adanta means I am controlled. Go, go means sense. Adanta go me. Vishatang tamishtam puna puna char vitachar vanana. Simply repeating, uh, uh, chewing the chew. The whole history of the world, we just study, uh, is a history of sense gratification. Uh, take for example, from 20 years ago, one Mr. Uh, Adolf Hitler came in the scene. And there was great upheaval as war well in Europe and America. From 1933 to 1940, or something like that, the whole world was in trouble. But he is gone, finished. Uh, and what did he do? Sense getting. That's all. He wanted that this way government should be, according to his own fact. Another person just like uh, Mr. Chachi or your President Roosevelt, uh, there is a law. The sense gratification should not be like that. The sense gratification should be like this. So it is the war of sense gratification. That's all. Uh, one leader is presenting a program of sense gratification. Another leader is presenting another program of sense gratification, and there is class. Uh, this is going, this is the history of the world. And another class, they are thinking, oh, there are so much trouble simply by sense gratification. Let us control our senses. Uh, Brahma Sattva Jagan Mithya, just like Mahavadi Shilajava, Sankara. They say this world is useless. This world is useless. Only Brahma, the Supreme, Brahma, impersonal Brahma, that is true. So, that is also another sense gratification. Uh, that is bigger sense gratification. Why? These Mahavadi philosophers who want to merge into the existence of the Supreme One. That means by becoming Hitler, Churchill, or Roosevelt, their senses were not very much satisfied. Now they say this world is false. Now let me become the Supreme. There is another sense. Oh. So this world, oh. Without Krishna consciousness, it's simply sense gratification. That's all. One may present in one way, another may present in another. But it is sense gratification. 
therefore the so called yogi for uh, 15 minutes meditation or say 15 hours meditation or 15 months meditation but as soon as meditation finish thanks guys that's all so this sense gratification program is very strong ah how and so long you will dwell in sense gratification the repetition of birth and death will go the repetition of birth this body bhagwat says that these people are working for sense gratification Nunan pramatya, pramatya means mad after sense gratification. Kurute di karma, and for sense gratification they are acting so abominably that it is not to be uttered. Kurute di karma, jab indriya prita ya pranati, they have engaged their life in sense gratification. Na sadhu manne, this is not good. This is not good. Why? Jata, because Atmana, the spirit soul, Atmana yam, asan na pichle sa deha sa deha. This body is temporary, but so long this body is there, you will have to suffer. Oh. What is that suffering? The sum total of suffering is birth, death, Old age and disease. This is due to this body. Therefore, the problem is how to stop this material body repetition. So they have got this body. Indian tomorrow I may get American. This next next uh, birth tomorrow means next birth. Next birth another. Next birth another. Next birth another. It is going on. Going and there is no stopping. This transmigration of the soul, but so long you do not stop it, there is no question of uh, being freed from suffering. They do not know. They are thinking they are advancing. What advancement do you mean? These sufferings are there, but they told it and disease. You cannot stop. Abhima uh, Bhavana Loka, and if you go to this moon planet or to the highest planet, these four things will fall. So therefore, sense gratification must be stopped. But if you want to stop it artificially, it is impossible. Neither by this yoga process, neither by this jnana process. I uh, simply for the time being you can check just like a naughty boy. By force you can stop him acting uh, and mischievously. But as soon as he gets opportunity, uh, again. Similarly, senses are very strong. You cannot stop them artificially. Therefore, the only remedy is Krishna consciousness. Uh, This voice in Krishna consciousness. This is also sense gratification. It is nice, prasadam, dancing, chanting, uh, reading philosophy. But it is in connection with Krishna. That is the nidbande Krishna samande. It is the sense gratification of Krishna. Not directly, but because I am part and parcel of Krishna, my senses are automatically satisfied. This process should be adopted uh, artificially. This Krishna consciousness movement is an art of living. By this, you will feel your senses are fully satisfied, but you are going to be free next class. This is a nice process, and artificially, if you want to stop your senses, you will fail. That is Krishna says, one who retains, restrains his senses and organs of action, but whose mind dwells on sense objects. Just like Vishwamitra, 
There were many instances. He was a great king and he wanted to be yogi. And he went to forest. Gave up his kingdom, went to forest. And he was meditating very seriously. And Indra, king of heaven, he sent some uh, and a society girls of heaven, the planet, a man of God. And he came, he began to dance before the closed eyed yogi. And as soon as he heard, oh, that is very nice, a female voice and dancing. And as soon as he opened, she became, she became captivated, embraced her. So everything wrong. So sense gratification, you cannot stop artificial. Nirvana Krishna Dhamma. Therefore, he advised our students, either boys and girls, that if you have a force, if you are serious in Krishna consciousness, you forget all these nonsense sense gratification. But if, if still if you are distressed, all right, get yourself married. Live peacefully, husband and wife, and both. Be engaged in Krishna consciousness, then you will forget both husband and wife. Don't try artificial. Artificial will never be success. No. But if you can avoid it by advanced and strong Krishna consciousness, that's why like Haridas Thakur, but don't try to imitate Haridas Thakur. He says what before him. Ah. We cannot imitate, we can simply follow. Anukaran, Anusharan, there are two Sanskrit words. One is imitation and one is following the footprints. Uh, if one tries to follow the footprints of great personality, that is very nice. But you cannot imitate. Imitate, imitation is dangerous. Just like Lord Shiva, he drank uh, and Ocean of poison and he kept it on the uh, throat. He did not allow it to go down. So he, therefore his neck is Nilakantha. It became blue. Uh, his neck is blue. But if somebody imitates Lord Shiva and indulges in intoxication, Gnaja, he will go to hell. Uh, he is fast. Somebody says, hey, Lord Shiva is a smoker, so we can also smoke. No, you cannot imitate. You can simply fall. Just like the sun sign. The sun sign is so strong that it is absorbing the moisture of the filthy place, contaminated place, where one is passing stool and urine. But it still it is sun. Because sun is so far. But if you live in that place for some time, uh, where you mean and see that so, then you will be contaminated immediately. Because you are not powerful. Pages are not those Those who are powerful, if they somebody do something which is very extraordinary, that is not to be imitated. You have to follow the rules and regulations. That will give you a oh, problem. Don't try to imitate. Oh, just be in your position. Try to follow the rules and regulations. And chant Hare Krishna. And gradually you get oh, the result. There is no need of being faced from on the other hand, he is in control of the senses by the mind and he engages his active organs in works of devotion without attachment. He's by, he's by far. Yes, he is not artificially trying to meditate and control the senses. Just any year you engage your senses in the activities of Krishna consciousness and gradually you will be happy. Your senses will be controlled. Instead of becoming a priest or transcendentalist, 
for the sake of wanting living and sending to it. It is far better to remain in one's own business and execute the purpose of life, which is to get free from material bondage and enter into the kingdom of God. The Svarabhati, the mm. home of self-interest. Svarabhati. Svarabhati, yes. The home of self-interest is to reach Vishnu. The whole Vana and Ashram system is designed to help us reach this goal of life. A householder can also reach this destination by a regulated service in Krishna consciousness. For self-realization, one can live a controlled life as prescribed in the Shastras and continue carrying out its business without attachment and that will be in gradually to the progressive path. Such a sincere person who follows this method is far better situated than the false pretender who adopts show of spiritualism to cheat the innocent public. A sincere seeker in the street is far better than the charlatan meditator who works only for the sake of making a living. Yes. My Guru Maharaj used to say that don't accept spiritual life for living. Uh, that's why we are uh, sending the Sankirtan party. Uh, if we take it, uh, it is very easy method for living without working. Uh, we are getting money for our livelihood. Uh, this is not wanted. Uh, if your uh, spiritual life is for, just like there are so many professional uh, chants, not here, in India. Their business is, because people like chanting, so they are, they are made this chanting business. Or, uh, professional Bhagavad reader. Uh, people like uh, reading of Bhagavad, there are many experts, Bhagavad reader. Uh, they can show many caricatures just to attract people. And such people generally, they describe the Rashi Lapu. Because Rasila uh, because Rasila is resembling just like dealing between uh, young boys and girls, so they take that part, uh, particularly Rasila, uh, easy way. And just like here in America, I've seen so many persons, they are writing books on Krishna about uh, Krishna's past charge with Gopi. As, as if Krishna has no other person. Uh, because these things are very easily sellable. So, they are writing books on that. Uh, I have seen one book by, written by Mr. Vattacharya about this Krishna dealing to the Gopi. No, uh, this is not. You should not take Krishna's activities, Krishna consciousness, professionally for uh, lively. That is dangerous. Your life should be sacrificed for Krishna. That is one. Otherwise, it shall be pretended. Oh. Yes. Verse number eight. Reform and scribe, which is better than not working. A man cannot really maintain his name without him. Yes. Krishna and uh, Arjun was talking. Uh, Krishna never said Arjun. Oh, my dear Arjuna, you are my friend, intimate friend, and devotee, all that. You haven't got to fight with your, everything will be done by me. You go to Himalaya and meditate. No. He never said. Uh, Krishna could go. Krishna could fight for Arjuna. Uh, he was all powerful. Without fighting, he could give him everything. But still, he wanted to engage him. That one should be uh, engaged in Krishna consciousness along with his prescribed duty. That is the point. Yes. Per per perform your prescribed duty, which is better than not working. If you cannot work in Krishna consciousness, then you better perform your prescribed duty according to Varna Ashram. Just like if you are a Brahmin, then you have to act that way. If you are a Kshatriya, you have to work in that way. 
बट डोंट स्टॉप वर्क कृष्णा से दैट ए मैन कैनॉट इवन मेंटेन हिज फिजिकल बॉडी विदाउट वर्क ही डज नॉट से दैट यू बिकम कृष्ण कॉन्सियस बेगर एंड मेंटेन योर बॉडी इन दैट नो दैट इज नॉट रिपर दैट ट्रेवलिंग फॉर कृष्णा शुड नॉट बी टेकन should not be accepted as profession for livelihood it should be simply for the service of the lord for the service of the lord you can collect millions of dollars but for your livelihood you cannot take one dollar from any person then in in that you have to repay so you cannot cheat out it is very simply yeah simply for krishna satisfaction you can Beg, ah, uh, you can beg from other. Just like, according to Vedic system, begging is allowed. Begging allows for whom? For the Brahmin, for the Sannyasi, for the Brahmacharya, because they collect money, beg from door to door for their benefit. Ah, uh, suppose the Brahmacharya is going to householder's place for storekeeper's place to give us some contribution. He is not collecting that money. For his livelihood, he is quite competent to work. But if that one dollar which he contributes to Krishna consciousness movement, it is good for. At least some portion of his energy goes to Krishna. That is his philosophy. Not that somewhere either I may collect some money and live very uh, comfortably. No, he cannot do that. But You can accept Krishna's prasadam. That is a different thing. Uh, but for personal comfort, you have to work. If you are a karmi, then you have to work. If you are a devotee, if you are completely devotee, means Rishi ke na Rishi ke sa sevanam bhakti rishya. Devotee means one who has engaged his senses ten percent for the service of the law. He is the Lord. So one who cannot become ten percent or like become fifty percent, twenty five percent, one percent, give something for this. Uh, don't be miser, because whatever you have got, it is Krishna. So long you catch it up, it is mine. That is Maya. You just let loose it for Krishna, then it is freedom for you. Yeah. Krishna will not. Work done as a sacrifice for Vishnu has to be performed. Otherwise, one finds one of his material work. Therefore, O son of Kunti, perform the prescribed duties for his satisfaction, and in that way, you will always remain unattached and free from bondage. Yes, bondage means working for ah one's own account. The same example. Just like a, uh, a soldier is fighting for the country under the uh, command of the commander in chief, uh, the more he is killing, he is getting uh, promotion, he is getting uh, medal. But the same man, when he comes back at home, if he kills one man, he is hanged. Uh, why? Uh, because the that killing and this killing is not the same thing. Uh, so one who cannot engage himself in Krishna Krishna consciousness, let him remain in his own position and try to sacrifice for Vishnu or Krishna uh, as far as possible. Uh, the prescription is for the grihastas for the householder. As exemplified by Sri Guru Rupa Goswami, that his income was divided into four parts: fifty percent for Krishna, twenty-five percent for the family, and twenty-five percent for his personal reserve fund. That is that he showed as an example how the grihastha should live. Not that uh, uh, out of And hundred dollars, ninety nine percent for my wife, and one percent for Krishna. No, not like that. 
Uh, he wants to sacrifice at least fifty percent. Uh, if he cannot sacrifice the uh, brahmachari sannyasis, they are sacrificed at everything, ten percent. The dhyastha they cannot because they have got wife, children. Therefore, fifty percent. Uh, so this 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 is the uh, prescribed rules and regulations for executing Krishna consciousness. Anyway. Uh, If one cannot satisfy ten percent, let him satisfy at least one percent, two percent. The more he does, that is, more he becomes free from bondage, and the more he uses his earning for sense gratification, the more he becomes bound by the laws of nature. Yes. Third point: Since one has to work even for the seven days of the work, to try to reach for a particular social position. And he wants it to have so many that that purpose can be fulfilled. Yajna means Lord Vishnu or some sacrificial performances. All sacrificial performances are meant for the satisfaction of Lord Vishnu. The Vedas and John, Yajna, Vyar Vishnu. In other words, the same purpose is served whether you perform the five Yajnas. Or directly serve Lord Vishnu. Krishna consciousness is therefore the performance of Yajna, as it is described here in this verse. The Vedas from the institution also aims at this, satisfying Lord Vishnu. Vedas from the 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 Vedas Following the prescribed duty of a particular section of society, in a, in pursuance of the instruction of the Shastra, means satisfaction of this. Therefore, one has to work for the satisfaction of this. Any other work done in this material world will be a cause of conflict, of both good and evil work, and the reactions. Any reaction is violently performed. One has only to work in Krishna consciousness to satisfy Krishna or Vishnu. And while performing such activities, one is supposed to be in a liberated stage. This is the great art of doing work. And in the beginning, this process requires very good and expert guidance. Yes. Yeah. One should therefore. Act very diligently under the great, under the expert guidance of a devotee of Lord Krishna, or under the direct instruction of Krishna, under the opportunity, by the opportunity to work. Nothing should be performed for sense gratification, but everything should be done for the satisfaction of Krishna. This practice will not only save one from the reactions of the world. But will also gradually rise one to the platform of the transcendental loving service of the Lord, which alone cannot lift one to the kingdom of God. Verse number ten: In the beginning of creation, the Lord of all creatures sent forth generations of men and demigods, along with sacrifices for Vishnu, and blessed them by saying, "Be not happy by this yajna sacrifice." Because its performance will bestow upon you all desire to please. Yes. Uh, in the creation, after creation, uh, the Jogga uh, was also uh, created, and everyone uh, created being was uh, ordered to perform the Jogga. One cannot Jogga dana tapakriya na tajyam. Uh, in the Bhagavad Gita, also you will find that you may be uh, renounced, sannyasi, uh, renounced. You have renounced this work, but the fourth thing, jagga, jagga means working for satisfaction of Vishnu, jagga, dana, charity, jagga dana, tapa, tapa means austere, uh, following the rules and regulation for spiritual achievement. These things are not to be denied. If somebody says, 
Oh, I have renounced the world. That does not mean you can renounce the service of the Lord. No. Even if you are sannyasi, or you have to work for Krishna. Either you are a sannyasi, or you are a uh, householder, or brahmachari, you have to work for Krishna. But the advantage of sannyasi is that because he has no encumbrances behind, he is detached from family uh, diligence, he has full time service for Krishna. Similarly, brahmachari, one who is not married, simply working under the order of the spiritual master, he has also 10% time to work. Uh, so, uh, these are the secrets that one has to work for Krishna. Either he is a brahmachari or sannyasi, it doesn't matter. Or a um, uh, householder. Uh, otherwise, he will be captured by man. Uh, wrong. The material creation by the Lord of creatures, vision, is a sort of chance offered to the conditioned souls to come back to home, back to God. Yeah, this material creation, you will find in the Bhagavad Gita, that just like our body, his body is created at a certain period uh, by the father and mother. And it remains for some time, it grows, it gives some byproduct, then it dwindles, then vanishes. Yes, you can study from similarly, the whole cosmic manifestation, this is a huge body. So it has a time of creation, its development, its byproduct, its activities, then dwindling, then it will also vanish. It will also vanish. And why this creation is there? This creation is there because those who have rebelled against God, Krishna, they are not allowed to enter into the kingdom of God. They are kept aloof and this creation is made just to give them chance to develop Krishna concept. The very pastors are there, the representatives of Krishna are there, they are teaching, uh, my dear conditions so Please adopt this name and end your reputation of birth and death. Come to the kingdom of God. Uh, this is a chance. Uh, but if somebody takes it, or oh, now I have got my body, let me enjoy my senses to the fullest extent, then he is gone. Then he loses the chance. Uh, therefore, this human form of body should not be wasted simply by sense gratification like cats and dogs. Uh, those who do not know what is the complication of this material nature, this spiritual life or material life, they are rascal simply they are uh, enjoying the senses which have been given by laws of nature. They are thinking the best thing to have got, let us enjoy to the fullest extent. No, it is not. You must take the advantage to get out of the uh, field of material activities and enter into the kingdom. So this is a chance of creation. Yeah. All the entities within the material creation are conditioned by material nature because of their forgetfulness of their relationship to Vishnu or Krishna, the supreme personality of God. The basic principles are to help us understand this eternal relationship. The Lord says, that the purport of the Vedas is to understand him. Yes. That we find in the 15th chapter. Vedas, Shasad, Bhai, Ahame, What is the purpose of so many scriptures and Vedic literature? Just to give you information that there is Krishna and you are eternally related to Krishna, you have forgotten. Just revive that relationship and perfect your life. That is the common substance of all Vedic literature. Wow. The Lord is the Lord of 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 the 
club leader, they are leaders. Some are uh, led by uh, somebody, uh, some are led by somebody, uh, we don't wish to discuss, but there is a leader. That without leader, nobody goes to hell, neither to heaven. There must be one leader. The supreme leader is Krishna. Leader of the leader. Leader of the leader. There are various types of leader. Mitra Nityanam Chitana Chitananam Eka Bhunam Vidadhati Kamaan These are the wordings in the Veda. So he is the supreme leader. Uh, we are following uh, some leader. Some leader is following Stalin, somebody is there, Hitler, some leader is following Gandhi, some, somebody is following somebody, somebody. There must be somebody. But why not the supreme leader who will never misguide you? He will give you actual path of happiness. Then you become happy. Krishna therefore says, Sarva Dhamma and Parikrajya. You give up all nonsense leaders. Simply come unto me. Surrender unto me. I give you Krishna. That is what. We are following leaders. There is no doubt about it. But there is misleader. Andhata Thandra Yupaniyama. That's like a blind, blind man is leading other blind. So what is the use of such following leaders? He is blind and I am blind. So if he leads me to cross the road, so what my life? My life is a danger. So don't follow this niche leader. Uh, Krishna is approved leader. Uh, all leaders of the society, any part of the world has accepted Krishna as the supreme leader. Follow him. Uh, then he will be happy. Uh, Vishnu is the Lord of all the creatures, all worlds, and all beauty, the protector of everything. The Lord created this material world for the conditioned souls to learn how to perform the arguments for the satisfaction of Vishnu, so that while in the material world they can live very comfortably without anxiety in life. Then, after finishing the present material body, they can enter into the kingdom of God. That is the whole program of the conditioned souls. By performance of Yajna, the conditioned souls gradually become Krishna conscious and become God in all respects. In this age of Kala, the Sakritan Yajna of chanting the holy names of God is recommended by the Vedic scriptures. And this transcendental system was introduced by Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu for deliverance of all men. Sankirtan, Yajna, and Krishna consciousness go well together. Lord Krishna, in his devotional form as Lord Chaitanya, is worshipped in the Srimad Bhagavatam as follows, with special reference to the Sankirtan Yajna. In this age of cult, People who are endowed with some sufficient grain substance will worship the Lord, who is accompanied by his associates by performance of Sam Kirtan Yaj. This is a, there is a verse. Jagai Sankit Kanai Prai Jadanti Hi Sumedha. Uh, those who are intelligent class of men in this age, they will worship this form of the Lord, who uh, Krishna Vannam Tisha Krishna Sangha Panga Sapasana. The Lord who is chanting all his Krishna that his body, body is not black. Fair complexion. This is Chaitanya. Sangha Panga Sapasana followed by many devotees. That's why you see the Chaitanya was preacher. He is followed always by, uh, he associates and devotees. Sangha Panga Sapasana. This form of the Lord should be worshipped. Therefore, we do not uh, worship Krishna direct through Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, through Sankirtan movement. That is the process prescribed in the past. We cannot worship Krishna directly, then we listen to that. Those who are not following the path of Chaitanya Sankirtan movement, if they want to understand Krishna, they simply. Uh, uh, misrepresent Krishna as this Rashi Rashi Rashi. 
Although other yajanas prescribed in the Vedic literature are not easy to perform in this age of karma, the Sanskritan yajana is the easiest and is sublime for all purposes as it's recommended in the Bhagavad Gita. Yes, in the Bhagavad Gita, it is recommended. Satatam ki tantam maam jatam tasadira prada. So, this process chanting of Hare Krishna mantra and gradually to develop Krishna consciousness is the only main part, uh, I mean to say, elevating yourself to the perfectional state which is meant for the human life. Otherwise, we are simply, uh, what is called, cutting our own throat. Thank you. Any questions? They don't go to outside today's lecture. The try to one question means the, the lecture on which I was speaking. If there is any difficulty, that could be question. Otherwise, if you go outside, that is present atmosphere created for this purpose, that is the done. So question means on the subject matter which is already discussed. Uh, if there is any doubt or uh, if there is any difficulty for understanding the subject matter which we have already discussed, that is the subject matter of course. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Krishna directly, yes. Through the process, just like uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Krishna himself. Uh, so the Shastra uh, advises in his scripture that those who are intelligent, intelligent, the word is used there, Sumedhasa. Sumedhasa means those who have got nice brain substance. Uh, so, Krishna, you can approach Krishna, uh, there are so many ways you can approach Krishna. Uh, and in other words, it is said, uh, Momo uh, Bhattyanu Vattanti Pasha Manusha Sarva. Uh, Krishna, our relationship is with Krishna. And that relationship cannot be cut off. That is there, even those who are disobedient to Krishna, uh, those who are atheist, godless, or Krishnaless, they are also obeying Krishna's heart. They are also. Just like a, 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 an outlaw who does not care to abide by the laws, he is also abiding the laws of the state in a different way. He is being forced. So, those who are not in Krishna consciousness, he is being forced by Maya to act. So that is there already, direct connection is there in this way or that way. But here it is prescribed that anyone who wants the ultimate uh, perfection of life, they should worship Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Krishna himself. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is, that's why like Rupa Goswami was his Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Namo Mahavadanaya Krishna Prima Pradayat. Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namine Gaurati Se Nama. He says that, my Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, you are the most munificent incarnation because you are distributing love of Krishna. Therefore, uh, I offer you my respectful obeisances uh, on account of your distributing Krishna consciousness and this is possible because you are Krishna, your Krishna, Krishna Chaitanya Nanda. Simply you have assumed the name of Krishna Chaitanya. So, these are the injunctions of the pastors, and if we uh, 
चैतन्य महाप्रभु चैतन्य महाप्रभु शेष जीवियस में था दैट इन दी शेष सिंपली चांद कृष्णा एंड यू गेट ऑल परफेक्ट दैट इज इजियस पर्सन If you follow the footprints of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, then it becomes easier. Uh, Krishna says, "Sarvadhan man parikshya and Bhagavad Gita." Uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, "All life, you cannot give up all of a sudden everything. You just join in this chanting." Ah, uh, that is more maddening. You see. We ask nobody that you, you fulfilled all conditions of Krishna consciousness. Then you come. No, we simply say, please come. We have taken this nice call, and these boys, uh, they are uh, I mean, giving their blood to maintain the establishment. Uh, we don't want anything from you. Please come and chant it. That is our request. Uh, we don't ask you that because we are paying four hundred, five hundred dollars for this building, you give us some. Uh, if you give, it is welcome. But he simply requests it. Uh, please come and chant it and dance it and take the prasad. That's all. This is the Sanat Mahaprabhu program. Uh, Because we know that Sahitya and Mahaprabhu will supply us everything. We don't depend on your country, but if you give, ah, oh, that is good for you. But our only request is that please come here, please stand with us, dance with us. That's. Oh, you are. Oh, you are. Oh, you are. Oh, you are. Let me just think of at the same time. Chant. Two things will go on, and this will come back. <laughs> As my forcing you to drag, drag you from this Krishna consciousness, you also force my by chant. Very Krishna, very fine, and my go ahead. देवी जी साधन में ओ माया तुरंत प्रया माँ में मुझे प्रबंधन थी माया में तांग करन थी माया इज़ वेरी स्ट्रॉंग इन फोर्स यू तो एंटाइज स्वादा स्वाद बट इफ यू बीन एंड चांस इफ यू चांस लाउड डी जस्ट लाइक बिल्डर्स आफ यू वर चांस एंड माया कुड नॉट विच माय यू नो दैट व्हाट वाज इट कैन Simply chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Maya Krishna is in charge. Maya fell. Maya became his disciple. He did not become my disciple. This is kind of what. So don't be afraid of Maya. Simply enhance chanting and he will conquer. That's all. नारायण पराशक्ति न कुतस्थ न बिजोति यह न कस्ते डम्बा है यार कृष्णा ही है ये कृष्णा से कौन दिया प्रतिजानी ही नमः वस्त्र अनस्तदि आह इधर सिखला है माइंड भी बहुत ही लेवल इन हैंड कोई भाई मार मार कहना तो ऐसे ही सिंपली है तू भी कौन स्ट्रॉ और व्हाट इज़ द स्ट्रेंथ चांस हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृ Yes. Maya means he uh, drags you from Krishna. That is whatever form may be is force. We can see the form later on. You just uh, just like uh, a police sends you warrant, arrest. Uh, you uh, you do not ask what is the form of this. But here is warrant. You have to go. What? That's all. Similarly, don't try to understand what is Maya for, but to just feel her force, how she is acting, how she is putting you in some difficulty. You see, 
There are so many things. Ah, the Maya put into this difficulty and you are encumbered. That you have to understand. How I have become encumbered. In my childhood I was free. Uh, there was no encumbrance. Now I am encumbered and thrive. This is Maya Gata. So if you want to get out of this Maya influence, then you have to become Krishna. There is no other Gata. Can't correct. 